non-governmental organization, Weibo Empowerment Foundation, has inaugurated a vocational training for youths in different entrepreneurial skills in the 2022-2023 edition of the exercise. The exercise, which commenced with induction and basic orientation of program manual for the new trainees, is holding in all correspondent blessing Uchendu report. The Mibo Empowerment Foundation was registered under the Allied Matters Act of 2020 with the aim of promoting Igbo cultural heritage and identity both at home and in the diaspora. The trainees will acquire skills in shoemaking, beauty therapy, confectionaries, information communication technology, cinematography, tailoring and electricals among others. They will also undergo three essential trainings before they will be given startup kits. In his remarks during the induction and the orientation exercises, the Director General Mibo Empowerment Foundation, Ms. Tuzo Eke Mezie, who described the program as his brainchild, said that it is aimed at fashioning out ways of engaging youths meaningfully for them to impact on the society around them. Mr. Eke Mezie, while noting that they also aim to promote Igbo cultural norms called on governments at all levels to partner those that have interest in developing the society through youth empowerment. He noted that Ndibo are hard-working people and urged youths to utilize the program opportunity in achieving at least one skill that will help them become self-reliant. <laughs> Mpudi iti ite, izuori, ibelo tunzuzo, ingu mbulumiri, ingu ibo, ingu wangu ike, wangulumu wanya, kusini ibo apona, kusini ime iojo di iti ite, natana azukunu wanya duo ngu na odo, muwako olu, unu muchako olu, agebuni unu mkwadu, ki iwo balo ngu gulu na mbu. In their separate presentations on uniqueness of Igbo culture and tradition and the importance of skills acquisition among youths, a deputy director of National Orientation Agency, Sir Joseph Uchendu, the director of administration, office of the governor, Anambra State, Lady Patience Anago, a public affairs analyst, Dr. Dennis Ike Meze, and Mrs. Chinelo Ononiru, described the initiative by the non-governmental organization as a welcome development which will help to harness potential of many youths. They commended Mr. K. Meze for his foresight, while also advising youths to always engage themselves positively, shun crime and help the government to fight restiveness and unemployment in the society. There is a group of people called Nibu. Nibu, they are the key to the future greater agenda. That's the basic truth. Some of the participants, including Emmanuel Nwalo and Chisomu Mbono, commended the foundation for giving them the opportunity to participate in the program and appeal to those that drag youth's integrity to the mod to desist and utilize positive opportunities to learn a skill and be useful to themselves, their families and society at large. Maibo Empowerment Foundation, Obo Inyakanando. Ndin Turobia, no ma bobia, ndi kanete to ne wera callu, o bunga la ba nyeraka ne nyaka kafuna umu ntorobia no ma bobia ne tiny amamiye fa na echi fa no In Oka, blessing 